And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, once again, three rounds in the Bantamweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist standing five feet, six inches tall. He weighed in at the Bantamweight limit, 136 pounds. Tonight, he steps into the cage for the 30th time in his career, bringing 22 victories, six defeats, and one draw from Cheltenham, Gloucestershire, England. Here is Ronnie Iron Man! And next, his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Also a mixed martial artist, he stands five feet, eight and one half inches tall. Weighing it officially 135 and one half pounds, he brings 10 victories and three defeats, fighting out of Fairfield, New Jersey, USA. Here is Merritt, the Circassian Outlaw Peacock. Referee Rich Mitchell in charge of the action. Three five minute rounds in the Cage Warriors Bantamweight division. Referee Rich Mitchell set to start us off. Ronnie Mann in the white trunks. Marat Peacock in the black with red trim. And Ronnie Mann starts off with a hard leg kick. Yeah, Ronnie Mann, of course, has pro Muay Thai experience as well. Very technical striker, very dynamic with the knees. And really one of the first mixed martial artists from the UK of his generation to go over to the US and treat this as a serious full-time job and, and go and get that training elsewhere that he needed to improve his wrestling, improve his ground and pound. And as I said earlier, what we're seeing now is perhaps Ronnie Mann really coming of age. Yeah, it's just of course a shame that it meant he had a lot of his fights outside of the UK. And it's now it's great that Cage Warriors have brought him back for, for UK fans to really uh, see one of their best exports. A huge homecoming fight for him in Liverpool earlier this year. He looked absolutely sensational against Zapater. He's looking for a repeat performance here tonight. Marat Pikov, though, I'm sure has other plans. Yeah, landing a good short right there as man looked to close the distance. Followed it up with a nice inside leg kick. It's always interesting when a fighter has this long away from the cage and you know that they have been training and traveling consistently. You never quite know what package you're going to get when you step in there with them. Well, for some fighters, taking a little bit of time away, taking a step back and working on the basics, working on improving their skills can be a godsend. For others, the lack of active competition can be a hindrance, and we're going to have to wait and see how that plays out for Marat Pikov. That's right hand there from Ronnie Mann. Yeah, Ronnie Mann, centre of the cage, stalking his opponent at the moment, but both guys taking their time, being very composed, good short combinations on the inside. Another one-two from Ronnie Mann there, and he's finding a home for those punches. Spinning back kick from Peacock misses. Yeah, second time he's tried that. Did actually make contact on the first occasion, but wider the mark there. And you said this to me yesterday, Josh. Ronnie Mann is such a big guy for a little guy. That makes sense. <laughs> no, it certainly does. He's, uh... Incredibly powerful upper body and uh, really thick legs for a bantamweight. Yeah, a lot of muscle mass there. When you, when you compare the physiques of the two, it really is astonishing. They're both oh, in the same right position. Hand. A huge right hand there from yeah, Ronnie Mann. Right hand and another. Man stalking Pekov around the cage now. And the Circassian outlaw seems to be getting caught every time he moves forward here, Josh. Perhaps a change of tactic is warranted. Well, no, I mean, he's landing some good leg kicks. He's, he's had a couple of short shots of himself. So, you know, it, it's just that Ronnie Mann has the center of the cage and is appearing to be the aggressor at the moment. But make no mistake, Pekov is uh, very, very tough indeed to get out of there. Good jab, he landed on the way in. Faking the uppercut there was Pekov. Another spinning back kick, that one hit the glove, but was on target. Oh, and there's Ronnie Mann, beautiful single leg switched off to the double. You saw he looked to, to run the pipe and then immediately changed the angle. Huge movement to the left, earned himself a very, very good side control here. And a teeny nick under the eye for Ronnie Mann. Doubt that's going to cause him many problems at this stage in the fight. Yeah, Pekov keeping, uh, choosing to keep the head control to try and 
retain guard. Man looking to walk his way over. He's going to look for head and arm choke here, though. He's got the grip of his hands together and the head under the, the shoulder. And there's the head and arm. This is a bad position for Mara Peacock to be in. He's worked his way to mount as well. Well, Pekov has uh, escaped that submission hold, but he's given up the mount, and it's going to be very tough indeed to get Ronnie Mann away from here. Looking to isolate, break the grip and isolate an arm now. Oh, to go nice. out the back door. It's this occasion outlaw. Yeah, there is an armbar counter here if man can come off the top, though. That is the big danger, is you need to use your arms to push up under the armpits, and that does leave you vulnerable, but man trying to sprawl his mount out nice and low. Referee Rich Mitchell warning peak off there for toes in the fence. You can use your foot to push off the cage, but you're not allowed to hook your toes in. Man opting to just maintain that position. Not long left in this round, though, for him to work from this position. Man slamming his opponent's head into the mat there. Not a fight-ending move, but thoroughly unpleasant for the man on the bottom. Indeed. And time is called on that first of three five-minute rounds here in the Cage Warriors Bantamweight division. A good first round for Ronnie Mann, landed some good strikes. The uh, wrestling transition he landed, I hope we're going to see a replay in a second, was uh, absolutely sensational. Got in on a single leg with the head on the outside as he changed the angle. He then switched back for the double leg. Here we go, single into the double. Textbook wrestling. And this man, take down from man. Yeah, it was a good attempt to escape this man position, but you can see Ronnie Mann gets very low, tucks his elbows in. And just maintaining position to see out the round there. Man unceremoniously pancaking Marat Peekov at the end of that first round. I mean, Peekov landed some good shots. He had some good short strikes as Mann was coming forward. He had a couple of good spinning back kicks that, that did land, one to the midsection, one to the head. Uh, you know, so still very much in this, but Ronnie Mann showing that if it goes to the ground, his top position is very tough indeed. Absolutely. Anybody's game as we head into this next round here. Cage Warriors, Fight Night 9 from a man Jordan. I'm Brad Wharton, sat here at the country position with Josh Palmer calling the action for you tonight, and we have had plenty of action to call, Josh. Certainly have fantastic undercards, some great Facebook prelims, and then some brilliant fights already on our main card tonight. Still up, though, Chain Mills, Faisal Hussein. That's a cracker. Great counter strike there from Marat Peacock. Yeah, Ronnie Mann in with the grip on the legs. Picks him up for a double and choosing to put him down very safely indeed. I think that was really because Pekov was oh, threatening. Oh, two shots here from Ronnie Mann. Yeah, Pekov was threatening the gear team, perhaps. So, Ronnie Mann choosing to be safe in putting the man back down. As spectacular as it may look, slamming your opponent when you're in that guillotine position can only put you further into the choke and, and, and leave you in a really dangerous position. So, great tactical awareness from Ronnie Mann there to, to save his man yeah. down nicely, get his base, and then go back to work. Overhook control for Marek Pekov. See what he's got off his back here. His guard is open. So Ronnie Mann could try and posture here, but you can see a bit of high guard now for Pekov. Just not quite able as Mann postures back up to get the control he wants. Mann staying busy with little shots to the body. Nice pass now Stacking into side Cage Warriors Fight Night 9 here in a man Jordan brought to you by London Fight Store and Kia. Please do check out our wonderful sponsors online when you can. While you're there, why not tweet us? Hashtag CWFC Jordan. Ronnie Mann slipping straight into that there. Beautiful transition. Peacock with one of his own. Well, Mann maybe going to look for an arm bar on the back here. Let's see what Ronnie Mann can do as he scoots his hip out. His entire period of transition on the ground there was absolutely fantastic. The stack pass was good, constant forward pressure to earn the side control. He then switched his hips and really nice mount. And as he falls off here, he's going to look to take the back or an arm bar as he comes down. See how wary Pekov is of it. See Ronnie Mann trying to work those legs up high, and Pekov's going to shrug his shoulders back inside. Good defense from the Circassian. And now it's Ronnie Mann on his back. 
And we're going to see what the Englishman can do here. Yeah, we don't see Ronnie Man on his back all too often. Already those legs snaking up. This guard wants to keep this. Referee yes. Rich Mitchell asking the fighters to advance this position. I wonder if we're going to get a bit of Sean Williams' guard for a minute from Ronnie Mann, but just a collar tie at the moment. Oh, and there we go. That is what he's looking for. The Sean Williams guard under and around the leg. He's then going to look for a go-go platter. Ronnie Mann has Marat Peacock tied up like a pretzel here. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of options for him here if he can start getting his hips out as well. The armor platter's there. Certainly there's an triangle. orthodox attack. Yeah, there's triangle options. There's a bit of everything, really. He's trying to get that shin underneath the chin of Marat Peacock now. I can't believe Ronnie Mann can finish this by Gogo Platter, can he? I mean, he's working for it. Ronnie Mann trying his level best to get that Oma Plata locked in. Gogo Plata, excuse me. I would love to know if there's ever been a Gogo Plata submission finish on Cage Warriors, and he's got the grip. Well, Ronnie Mann with the Gogo Plata right now. Let's see if he can get the extension he needs. Pulling down on the head of Marat Peacock oh, is Ronnie he's Mann. He's with everything he's got. This is a bad spot for Marek Pekov. Seems to be content to sit it out at the moment. Man looking to make some tiny adjustments in there. It's difficult for us to see at this angle how tight that Gogo Plata is, but Man is squeezing here. Yeah, I mean, there's 30 seconds left. You've got to figure the instep is nicely under the chin, but as you say, we can't entirely see the angle here. And what he's doing is using the instep as a bar across the throat, and Pekov works his way out. And lands some big shots on Ronnie Man. Yeah, we, we said some of the ground and pound from Pekov is phenomenal. Oh, oh and there's big a big shot. right hand! Huge right hand from Marek Pekov, and Ronnie Man is in trouble here, Josh. Yeah, anxious closing seconds for the Englishman. Ronnie Man ties him back up. What a second round this has been. Incredible. A very, very unorthodox submission attempt to close out that second round from Ronnie Mann. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the tables are turned, and it's Marat Pekov nearly getting the KO finish. I mean, that, you know, it was almost as though Pekov was saying, you have the insolence to try and go-go platter me. It's such an unorthodox submission. Let's have a look at some of the replays here. There's Ronnie Mann choosing to uh, put Marat Pekov back down. Fairly gently in the end. Very considerate of Ronnie Mann there. Was indeed. Some great jiu-jitsu, though, to pass the guard. And here, a Panasenko worked up on top. Watch Ronnie Mann grip under his own leg to secure the shoulder. And then forcing the instep under the throat. As I said, unorthodox submission, but very effective. And here with a big right hand. So you see the posture of And that Pekov. one Ronnie Mann right there. I mean, Pekov, impeccable posture there at the end. Well, we said this one is this getting fight, interesting. Do not count out Marat Pekov, and that's exactly why anybody's game here going into the third final round. Those kind of flurries in the end really are horrible for the judges because, of course, they have to consider every section of time in a round the same as every other section. It just looks more impressive just the last 10 seconds. But you know, that is a big, significant strike, and it had Ronnie Mann on the back foot for a moment. Referee Rich Mitchell starts his third and final round here at Cage Warriors Fight Night 9 in Amman, Jordan. The King Hussein Youth City Boxing Arena. Fantastic atmosphere in here tonight, as there is every time we come to Jordan. Yeah, Ronnie Mann going back to the jab right now again, taking the center of the cage, much as the mold we saw in the first round. Works for him very well in that first round, Josh. Perhaps got a little over-eager going for that more unorthodox submission. Well, I mean, you know, perhaps, but at the end of the day, he had he had it locked in. He had a really good chance to finish that, and Pekov's going to get warned for grabbing the, the trunks of Ronnie Mann here. The action's restarted, a quick tap of the gloves there from both fighters. Ronnie Mann with a nice guard there, hands up high. Mann's an overhand right. Pekov's hand slightly lower. 
needs to be careful. Man is so quick. Back off with a jab. Trying to find his range. And you just get the feeling that either of these guys could explode at any second, Josh. Yeah, I mean, they've both shown that they can really put the other under the cosh at a moment's notice. It'd be interesting to see if that minute's uh, gap was enough for Ronnie Mann to recover from what was a very good flurry from Pekov. And now Pekov attempting the takedown, looking to transition to the reap. Ronnie Mann reverses very nicely. Pekov was relentless with that takedown attempt, but as you say, it's Mann getting the better of the exchange. Perhaps looking to step over into mount now. Yeah, he's done a good job of passing the knees, but guard restored momentarily for Pekov. Man staying very active on top there. Yeah, he's doing a good job of inching his way back into the mount position. Nice elbow there for Ronnie Mann. Just about the opposite of the lay and pray style fighter. Always active, always looking to do damage and improve those positions. Yeah, again, Pekov is looking for that back door escape. He's going to look to push up under the armpits of Ronnie Mann. Take it very high up on his chest and roll through, put the feet in the armpits and push his man off. But man wise to it once again, sinking that base very low. And the arena here in Jordan actually shaking as the fans stamp their feet, trying to drum up some support for Marat Pekov here. But it's some big elbows landing from Ronnie Mann. Yeah, the one thing Ronnie Mann has to his advantage here is the clock. It is slowly ticking away. As Marek Pikov tries desperately to bridge out of this position. It's very interesting to me that he hasn't actually tried a much more traditional, uh, simple hip escape to get out of this yet. He's tried bridging and he's tried uh, ducking out the back door a couple of times, but what he hasn't done is just get on his hip and try and shrimp his way out. Ronnie Mann continuing to pound away, but... And there's got... the armbar. Well, you do leave yourself vulnerable, as I mentioned in the first round, and Ronnie Mann has got a good grip, a good bite on the elbow. Look for Pekov to stack his way up. Triangle possibility for Ronnie Mann now as well. One minute left. Beautiful piece of business there by Ronnie Mann, switching to that triangle. Let's see if Ronnie Mann can become... Oh, and then going back to the armbar, good escape from Pekov. Back to a triangle, possibly for Mann, and Pekov sneaks both arms back inside. Great transitions on the ground there. A real chess match here, Josh, unfolding before our eyes here at Cage Warriors Fight Night 9. Yeah, fantastically technical transitions on the ground for both fighters. And Ronnie Mann's got 30 seconds to see what he can do from his guard here. He's already shown how dangerous it is when he attacks. The crowd roaring Pekov on here with Jordan. Man again bringing that leg up. Yeah, it's such an unorthodox card, you almost never see it in mixed martial arts. It's much more of a, a grappling guard, but back to tradition at, at this stage. Last few seconds here. Pekov trying to create some space to land some ground and pound, as he did at the end of the previous round. Unfortunately, time's going to be his biggest enemy. Wow, what a fight between these two. Incredible performance from both guys, Josh. Ronnie Mann with some crazy submission attempts. Mark Pekov, some nice ground and pound. Both guys had their moments on the feet. Yeah, I mean, all, all round, that was an incredible fight. That showcased absolutely everything about mixed martial arts. You had some phenomenal wrestling, some technical groundwork, some great striking. Here, let's have a look at some of the replays. This was the reversal of the takedown by Ronnie Mann. And he spent a long time earning and keeping this top position here. It nice was elbows from Mann, doing some damage, scoring some points. It was a good transition from Ronnie Mann to look for the armbar and the triangle. But here you can see Pekov hop over, always aware of the danger. Fantastic defensive capabilities. I mean, that's we got we to, saw in all rounds there from Pekov. That's got to be a contender for fight of the night in my book. Our judges currently tallying their scorecards. Viewers at home, let us know how you scored that fight. Hashtag CWFC Jordan. Tweet us at Cage Warriors. 
still more action to come here in the man Jordan. Che Mills versus Faisal Hussein and Bruno Carvalho versus Gail Grimaud. Coming up shortly as we throw this one to Joe Martinez for the official result. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the scorecards, and here are the judges' totals. Both judges, Sledge and Leatherby, scoring 30-27. Judge Oglesby, 29-28. All three for your winner by unanimous decision, Ronnie Iron Man! A unanimous decision in favor of Ronnie Iron Man there. Both guys had their moments in that fight, Josh, but man able to wedge it all three rounds on two judges' scorecards. Two of the rounds on another, and a well-deserved victory for Ronnie Mann, who continues his fantastic run. He started off here in the Cage Warriors bantamweight division.